Welcome to the Rosanna Mod Variety Pod. This is your vessel and host, Rosanna Moluño, and here we go. All right, today for Friday Foods is episode 170, 170, and today I have a special quickie. You're going to love these ideas, okay? Mom gave me this recipe, and she said, she found it somewhere. She can't remember where, which channel or anything like that, but I think it was a YouTube channel. She can't remember. If I can find it, I will post it on the bottom. If I can't find it, then you won't see it. Just look for it. But how to make cream cheese DIY. All you need are three ingredients. And technically it's only two ingredients if you don't like salt, but here are the three ingredients. One gallon of whole milk, a teaspoon of salt, and one cup of white vinegar. All you do, it's very simple. You get a pot, you put one gallon of milk in there and you cook it very slowly. You don't let it boil. The way she said is you put your finger in the milk, (laughs) make sure your finger's clean or don't tell anybody. And then you count to 10. And if you can get to 10 before it gets too hot, that means it's not ready yet. Now remember, if you boil it, you ruined it. Then you put the one cup of vinegar in there you know, stir it just a little bit. And then you're going to just let it sit a little and you see it immediately curd and it's going to separate and all that clumpy white gross stuff on the very top of the water is going to be your cream cheese. Simple enough, right? So then you just get like a spoon with like little holes in it. She has like the spoon that looks like a, you know, that has mesh, like metal mesh around it. And you If you can use that, you put it into a pot, unless you have a muslin bag. If you have a muslin bag, put it into the muslin bag. What's a muslin bag? It's like a, it's like a gauze type fabric. And honestly, you don't have to go to the store and buy a muslin bag. You can just buy gauze, to be honest. All it is, is something that you can put that into that will let the water come out of it but not allow the cheese to to pour out. So the holes have to be tiny. And no, you cannot use stockings because that's nylon. So you don't want that with heat. Shut up. I hear you thinking out there, oh, I'm gonna put it into my sock. You know, actually, technically you put it into any kind of fabric (laughs) that as long as it's not nylon, if it's cotton, you could probably use it. Yeah, you could use a cotton fabric. You know, be creative. Just don't use like a colored cotton fabric. I was thinking of coffee filters. I didn't really get with her on that one, but I was just now thinking, I wonder if coffee filters would work, but they're kind of small. They would have to be big or like some kind of paper. I don't know. I'm thinking out loud. So anyway, so all you do is you scoop this all out of the water and you put it into this muslin or this fabric and you're going to gently squeeze, you know, until most of the water comes out, but you don't want all of the water to come out. The trick is to remember more moisture more water equals a softer cream cheese less water is going to be harder and drier and that's what it's going to come out like because you're not going to eat this right away you have to store it in the fridge for 24 hours right so the next step after you scoop it all out of the bowl you're going to put it on a counter or in a you know clean place to put this on and you're going to knead it just like flour like when you make dough It's not going to be the same consistency as dough because obviously it's going to break up a little bit, but you, what you're doing is you are mixing it together so that it gets more, what's the word fluent. You're smoothing the cheese out. So it's nice and smooth. Okay. The less you do that, the lumpier it's going to be in the end. That's all. So after you do that, just make sure you make it, you make it into a ball and you let it sit. And she said that when she lets the ball sit there, she looks underneath it and there should be a little bit of, uh, if there's a little bit of water under there coming out, it's not good. That means you have to take more of the water out. If you can let it sit there as a ball and not have anything underneath it, no residue at all, then it's perfect and it's ready. All you have to do, put it into a bowl, cover it, you know, Tupperware, whatever, cover it for 24 hours in the fridge. Next day, 
you've got cream cheese. So when we were trying this out, now she put salt in there and pepper. I didn't like the pepper too much. You don't have to have salt in there. The salt you can add whenever. You don't have to put it into the water. It's probably better that you put it into the bowl after you pull that stuff off the pot. All right, because it's gonna get lost in the water. My idea, we were just throwing ideas off at each other and I thought, you know, it doesn't have to be sweet cream cheese. Like those, uh, you know, like those cheese balls you see at the deli that have almonds and nuts on top of it. You could probably mix that in there too. And then I thought, what about olives? Chopped up little olives in there so that you would have it all when you cut it. It's got little olives that you can see through. Another idea is um, put like some pepperoni in there, some salami, some, I mean, you can put anything in there. And if you don't put salt and you put sugar, you can make it like a cream cheese as the kind you have in a cheesecake. How different would it be if you buy that crust that they have, that homemade pie crust, and you put that in there and you mix it with fruit like blueberries or strawberries. I bet you it would taste really good. Cheesecake. Like I'm not sure what's in a, cre in, in a cheesecake. Do they have egg in there? Is that why it's yellow? What would happen if I mixed egg inside that cream cheese? You can basically make up anything and be creative in your kitchen. One gallon of milk doesn't make a lot. Of course, it's gonna make about 16 ounces of cream cheese, but if you have a little bit of milk and you don't have that much and you just wanna try it just to see if you like it, you know, just do that. Take a, a cup of milk, but then distribute your vinegar accordingly. So if you're gonna have one cup of milk, excuse the background noise, this isn't, this is where I live. I mean, it's incredible. If you have one cup of milk, whole milk, and you want to make, you want to make this, you wouldn't put one cup of vinegar. You would put like maybe a teaspoon of vinegar to one cup of milk. This is good for spreads. This is good for, you can mix different kinds. And like I said, you can use one with olive, olives, one with pepperoni, one with nuts, one with, you know, make it sweet, add something sweet to it. And make different dips all around the table for people that really like cream cheese spreads. I think that's a good idea. So, all right. So that is my Friday food idea. I love it. I love it. I'm going to make it. I have to go get milk because I don't have enough milk now. I'm like a real heavy milk drinker. So one gallon of milk never lasts a week with me. Um, yes, just me. I drink it alone like a sad milk drinker. <laughs> This is what I do. I put it in like a wine glass and I just, yeah, I really do. And I'm not making that up. I put it in I put my milk in a wine glass and it just makes me feel very ritzy. Like I'm on vacation. All I need is one of those little um, umbrellas that you put inside the drink. And that would be pretty crazy. All right. Well, anyway. Okay. So on that note, again, talk to you soon and hope you enjoyed my new intro and my outro because that's what it's going to be. There you go. With the outro. Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and I'll talk to you soon. God bless you, and what do we say? <laughs>